The Take Back Con Troll. So I want to talk about this Take Back Con and the way that it's been trolled. Uh, my name's Mike Cashman. If you find what I'm saying is interesting or useful, do subscribe to the channel, Britannia Waves the Rules, buy the satirical books and music. So Take Back Control was the slogan. Um, was this a Take Back Con? So let's look at immigration policy. Now, the argument was that being a member of the EC meant that there were constraints on our immigration policy. We couldn't have exactly the immigration policy that we wanted. Uh, it could have amended or altered our existing policy more than we did, but certainly there were some constraints. And so you could argue that um, out of the EC, we might have we would have more control over immigration policy and we might therefore be able to design an immigration policy that was more suited to the UK's needs. Fair enough, you could argue that. I might not necessarily have agreed with you that it was worth leaving the EC for that, but it's a reasonable argument. However, if you leave the EC and then in the first year in which you now have control over your immigration policy, if in that time what you do is something which deeply damages your economy and leaves you with vegetables unpicked, meat unprocessed, tables at restaurants unserved, old people in care homes not looked after, you know, if the first time that you've had the freedom to do whatever you want, that you mess up your immigration policy, then your argument falls to the ground. Uh, and by the way, on migration, while we we're in the EC, we had an arrangement with other EC countries which made it easier to um, take action that the government wanted regarding migrants who crossed the channel in boats. Uh, we have less ability to do that now. So take back was a bit of a con that we were trolled with. And the idea, of course, was that, or supposedly, of taking back, that it was, this was taking back powers to our sovereign parliament that we elect, that does our will. Let's just look, in the light of that, at the Owen Paterson situation. So the Conservative government uh, wanted to protect Owen Paterson. I know they've changed their minds about this now, but let's just look at the process. The idea of whipping is so that if you are elected for a particular party, that that party can, the government that's uh, um, elected as a result of the votes for that party can say where necessary, hey, this is something that we were elected on. This is part of our manifesto. You were elected as a conservative or whatever, and therefore you need to follow the party line to enable us to deliver what we were elected on. That's what the system of whips is for. It's not supposed to be there to get off one of your members, uh, one of the members of the party, one of the MPs, who has transgressed the rules of Parliament and, by the way, had plenty of opportunity, as I've said in a separate video, to make his case uh, both to the Commissioner for Standards, uh, to the uh, All-Party Committee uh, and eventually to the whole House. So this idea of take back control, which was spun as returning control to our sovereign parliament, was actually all about returning power to Boris Johnson. He didn't take any notice of what his parliamentary party wanted. The only point, the only time at which he actually changed his mind was when he saw the headlines uh, in the uh, Daily Mail and The Sun and so on, telling him that he really had made a mistake. So take back a con, I think. I'm Mike Cashman. If this has been interesting, please subscribe to the channel. Britannia waves the rules. Thank you.